Hi everyone, welcome to Turkish Lessons. My name is Yasin Rak. Today I would like to talk about the adverbs that are used in Turkish. In Turkish for this title we say, as you see here, Zarf Lar. Zarf Lar. And I just want to give you a very short uh, definition of adverbs, what they mean here. As you know, it comes to the, you know, it talks about usually action verbs and adjectives actually that are used together and we we just all the time ask how things are done that's why the question word of how tells us the adverbs okay so in Turkish for this uh, adverbs we use these suffixes for regular ways in ja j cha che these are the uh, you know I can say um, suffixes of adverbs that we use in Turkish, but there's a little note here that you can re you remember, uh, you know, while you are learning this language as well. Sometimes adverbs act differently without getting any suffixes as in English. This is just one example, of course. Friendly, this is an adjective. So in Turkish it means jana yakın, jana yakın, jana yakın. But if you want to make this or use it in a in an adverb style then you should use in a friendly way which is you can say in Turkish cana yakın bir şekilde bir şekilde so I mean in a way that means in a way bir şekilde you can use this in your dialogues in Turkish with anyone no problem so let's go to more examples so as you see here these are the question words uh, to get adverbs in Turkish which means nussel, nussel, nussel, nussel. This is the question word. That means how. So, example, he entered fast or quickly. Hızlıca, hızlıca girdi. Hızlıca girdi. As you see here, this is red suffix, shows the adverb itself. Hızlı means fast, which is an adjective here. Okay? So, hızlıca girdi. Yavaşça ilerledi. Boş boş baktı. İlgiyle izledi. İlgiyle izledi. Now I will make this translation now in English. He entered fast or quickly. He um, moved forward slowly. He looked at me or he looked or she looked blankly. Blankly. He watched interestingly. He watched interestingly. All right, that's all we can see. Let's see a few examples here. I went to school by minibus. So this is kind of different, of course. It talks about how you, what did you use to go to school. So you can say in Turkish, of course, this different style. Minibus. Minibus means minibus. Le. Le means by. Okay. Normally, le is kind of, there's a dropped letter, which is I. So we normally use ile ile but as you use this, this together here in Turkish so this i letter dropped here so we just say le minibus le minibus le so next example he drank tea quickly o çayı çabucak içti o çayı çabucak içti so or you can say hızlıca çabucak means quickly all right these are, these are the examples Let's see more examples here, actually. All right, look. Yavaşça, dikkatlice, çabucak, sessizce, sessizce. As you see here, normally for regular adverbs in Turkish, we use ça, c, c. But for irregular ones, which normally do not take such suffixes to describe adverbs, that's why you should learn this ad, um, adverbs as well you know, in the following lessons. I hope I will show you them. Çabucak. Now let's see here more examples. O içeriye sessizce girdi. O içeriye sessizce girdi. Ben arabayı dikkatlice sürdüm. Ben arabayı dikkatlice sürdüm. Look, normally, in English, there are some adverbs that do not take suffix of ly to describe adverbs. Examples, hard, fast. But in Turkish, we don't mind such things 
at all. So we just say sıkı or sıkıca. Either way is correct. Okay, sıkıca, hızlıca. All right, let's see practical examples here. This is a comparative form. Uh, sentence actually here. Drive carefully. Dikkatlice sür. Dikkatlice sür. So adverb comes first before the um, verb itself. Dikkatlice sür. Or you can say sür dikkatlice. But normally we don't use sür dikkatlice. We say dikkatlice sür. Yavaş yavaş ye. Yavaş yavaş ye. Sıkı çalış. Sıkı çalış. Yavaşça konuş. Yavaşça konuş. Çabucak yürü. Çabucak yürü. Have you ever noticed that we use adverbs in Turkish at the beginning of the sentence when it is a comparative form? Instead, you know, whereas in English you should use the verb itself first and after use the adverb. Okay, so this is the difference here in Turkish. Let's see more examples here. Biraz yavaşça konuşabilir misin? Biraz yavaşça konuşabilir misin? Çocuklar mutluca oynuyorlar. Çocuklar mutluca oynuyorlar. Onlar gizlice kaçtılar. Onlar gizlice kaçtılar. Bunlar berbatça yapılmış. Bunlar berbatça yapılmış. Bagajı dikkatlice koy. Bagajı dikkatlice koy. Bagajı dikkatlice koy. Now, as you see here, usually we use this kind of adverbs in Turkish in the middle of sentences. However, you can feel free to use them at the beginning or at the end of um, sentence as well, which is the same meaning actually, but it may seem a little bit unnatural, which is fine. We use it all the time actually. Don't worry about this. So let's get to the summary part. As I said at the beginning of the lesson, we use, you know, the suffixes of cha, ca, ca, ca, ce for regular adverbs in Turkish. And the question word is nasıl to get the answers of adverbs. So here, as I said, if you, you, you know, remember, adverbs in Turkish can come at the beginning or middle or end of sentences. That's all I would like to remind you one more time. And here... I want to show you one example, you know, to prove that how we use this in Turkish middle, beginning, and end of sentences. Example, in Turk, in English, he drove the car fast. This is an example. But, okay, now, this fast only, I mean, you should use in the middle or at the end of the sentence. However, in Turkish, uh, we use differently as well. O arabayı hızlıca sürdü. O Arabayı hızlıca sürdü. O arabayı sürdü hızlıca. Well, it sounds very, you know, unprofessional actually here. Hızlıca o arabayı sürdü. Hızlıca o arabayı sürdü. The best, actually, you know, if you ask me, the best way to use this is here, the first one. O arabayı hızlıca sürdü. All right. So here, there's a spelling problem. This O, you know, pronoun must be small letter, kept um, lower case. All right, so this is the end of our lesson. If you like the lesson, please just like our videos and don't forget to subscribe our to our channel and thank you for watching the lesson. And we have one more lesson to finish this beginner level. If you have any request or anything you would like to learn more about, please don't forget to write to us at octavarian.hotmail.com. And thank you for your time. Bye for now.